This is Kirk Michael Church in South Ayrshire, not far from Maybole. The church itself isn't of great interest, only dating from 1787. However, the churchyard contains many ancient graves. One of 1506 is the oldest known gravestone in Ayrshire. Two Victoria Cross holders are buried in the churchyard. One is Sam McGaw, who obtained his whilst fighting in the Ashanti Wars in Africa. The other is William James Montgomery Cunningham, 9th Laird of Course Hill and Kirkton Home, who obtained his whilst fighting in the Crimea. A fine example of the Covenanter's grave is present here. Gilbert McAdam of Waterhead had been captured and imprisoned and then eventually sent to North America to the plantations for his Covenanter beliefs. He managed to save enough money to pay for his return fare to Scotland. However, he was caught was at a prayer meeting and whilst tried to escape, he was shot. The Laird of Culain and Balak Mile was, was responsible for his death and this fact is inscribed on the gravestone. However, shortly after, somebody removed that part of the inscription. It was quickly re-inscribed. It's said that Sir Walter Scott's old mortality, that is Robert Patterson, also at one point re-engraved the stone. It was placed within its pre present monument in the 19th century. There are several mausoleums within the churchyard to the local landowning families, such as the Riches of Cloncaird and Busby, and the Wallaces in a separate mausoleum of the same property. A particularly large mausoleum has a number of inscriptions to the various families who own Cook Michael House, that is the Whitfords, the Kennedys, the Shaws, the Crawfords, and others. Back of the church, there's also the steps leading up to the Laird's Loft. The Whitfords of Kirkmichael House were close related to the Whitfords of Balak Mile. Robert Burns knew them well when he lived at nearby Moss Giel. However, due to the collapse of the bank, they lost the property and was purchased instead by the Alexanders. This gave rise to the famous Bonnie Lass of Balak Mile. Wilhelmina Alexander of Burns's poetry. The Laird's lofts were separate spaces set aside within the church itself for the local landowners, usually one for each of the separate estates. These were approached by separate entrances, usually involving steps so the landowners didn't have to mix with their tenants. The graveyard contains a number of very fine old gravestones. These often contain symbols of mortality, such as the hourglass, skulls, crossbones, and so on. In addition, they may show the indication of, of the person's work in life, such as the farmers with their plough pulled by oxen. Another very fine example is that of a miller. It shows the symbol of the water wheel, but also a device known as the rind. The rind was the metal attachment that caused the turning of the upper grindstone and was used as a symbol of millers. Some of the gravestones also carry carefully engraved armorial bearings, that is, the uh, heraldic devices, such as the coats of arms of the families concerned. <laughs>